Teddy visited Mill Pond Stables, and he met a new friend, Ariana. Ariana is four years old, and she has spinal bifida. She wanted to introduce Teddy to all her friends that help her with her therapy. Teddy met a horse called Risky, who was full of kisses. Teddy also met a real big horse called Brownie. Brownie was looking for a treat from Teddy, but before Brownie could get a treat, he had to take his bath. He was washed, and then his feet were cleaned. Teddy learned that a horse doesn't have toes. His foot is round and hard, and his horseshoe is attached to the bottom of his foot. Since Brownie was a good horse while he took his bath, Teddy gave him the treat that he wanted. Brownie ate the treat, and he was really happy. Finally, Teddy got to ride on a horse. It was so much fun riding on a horse. Teddy said goodbye to all his new friends at Mill Pond, and he said it was a good day. My name is Kathleen Pegues. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, and this is little Ariana Gonzalez. She's four years old. She has spina bifida, and this is Donna Phillips. Hello. <laughs> she runs Mill Pond Farms in Coconut Creek, and uh, we run a hippotherapy program where children like Ariana, who have special needs, uh, use the tool, use the horse as a tool to improve their muscle strength their balance, their coordination. We have children of all different ages and diagnoses, anywhere from autism to Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, spina bifida. And the horse is a, is a wonderful tool to use with them because the, the horse's gait or walk, it, it mimics the normal human walk. In addition to all the physical benefits that hippotherapy provides, it also provides cognitive, social, and emotional benefits. Donna Phillips from Mill Pond Farm will now comment on that. Thanks, Kathy. You're <laughs> I have seen such miraculous things with these kids when they can't communicate with each other very well or they can't communicate with adults because the world is just too much for them. They are able to identify with a horse that speaks to them on a different level, a more emotional level. And if you could see some of the children that are especially unresponsive light up when their hand touches a horse, you would know why we do this. Thanks. If you are interested in finding out further information, making a charitable donation, or learning how to be a volunteer for our program, please contact Children's Therapy Services in Coral Springs and ask for Cindy Pollock or Kathleen Pegues at 954-341-0090. Thank you and have a great day. <laughs> Bye. -bye.